One of the ways I spend my free time is by going through theme park patents. And with the recent closures and recommended self-isolation, let's just say I've had some extra free time on my hands. One patent I recently came across is for the rumored AR binoculars expected to be located throughout Super Nintendo World. When you look through them, these binocular stations will allow you to see additional characters and elements added on top of reality. Let's dive into this technology to learn how it will allow you to view and interact with the video game world. Located in several spots along the second level of Super Nintendo World, the AR binoculars will allow guests to view the real world and even zoom in on things in the distance. However, unlike regular binoculars, additional elements and characters can be overlaid on top of reality. Imagine looking through and seeing Mario jumping around the tower in the distance, or additional bad guys flying around in the sky. And that might just be the beginning. Based on the binoculars from the Super Mario 3D Land video game, the design for these podium devices will include a platform where guests can stand to look around. While the video game counterpart used the gyroscope in your Nintendo 3DS to look around, here you'll be able to swivel and tilt the binoculars in real life. Just like in the video game, there will be a method for zooming in and out. Looking at the patent, which is called Mixed Reality Viewer System and Method, and was recently filed by Universal in February of this year, we can see a remarkably similar design. This mixed reality viewer would include a display device, a user interface with a zoom controller, and at least one camera. The patent illustrates how a theme park could include fixed building layouts, props, decorations, and so on corresponding to the theme. In the example given, the theme is a farm with a barn. The patent explains how the area could have one or more fixed viewers pointed towards the barn area. Guests not using the viewers would just see the barn, but someone looking through the viewfinder may see two horses standing in front of the barn. It would use a computer graphics generation system, a wireless network, and a remote data server. When the user moves the viewer or zooms in or out, the CG characters on the screen would be rendered in real time to appear as if they are actually part of the real world environment. Now, up to this point, we've only discussed how AR, or augmented reality, could be utilized with these viewers around the land, but the patent also mentions VR, or virtual reality. The user will be able to zoom in to see objects and scenery along with any digitally added items on top, but there's another way that the zoom controls could be utilized. When the user zooms in far enough, they would actually be able to see inside a building, like the barn in the example. This is when the technology being utilized switches from AR to VR. Most of the time, what you'll see through the viewfinder will be real life, as seen by a camera, with additional elements added on top. But once you were to zoom all the way in on a building, everything in the viewer will be rendered completely from scratch. The patent says that zooming beyond a predetermined magnification threshold would cause the computer graphics generation system to generate VR graphics. A transition effect would be used to seamlessly zoom from augmented reality to virtual reality. But how could this technology be used within Super Nintendo World? Imagine a scenario where you are using the binoculars to look around the land. You can zoom in to see additional bad guys flying around, you see characters jumping and running in the distance, but you might also be interested in locating power-ups, coins, or even hidden achievements to help you earn points or unlock more experiences. If you're participating in interactive games around the land, these mixed reality viewers may help you spot hidden items by peering through walls across the way. Zooming in on every square inch of the land could be a great way to help find missing keys you'll need to move on to the next level. And even if you're not participating in the Power Up Band interactive experiences, it'll be a neat way to view the world and feel more immersed in the video game land. The technology behind the concept is unique in that the data would all be generated from a centralized computer. That means that multiple guests could be looking at the same computer-generated characters at the same time in the land, but as seen from completely different vantage points. This may even lead to some sort of interactivity or gaming scenarios, where users can work together or compete against one another while completing a virtual task. An example is given where users must virtually fill a water tank by using a button while they are zoomed in on the tank in real life. 
After the tank is filled, the guests will be rewarded by seeing a virtual response, such as a computer-generated animal drinking from the tank, or even a real-world consequence, like the guests in the area being splashed with real water. Which is kind of neat, actually. This patent for augmented reality was not the only one filed for Super Nintendo World. It has also been rumored for a while that the Mario Kart ride would incorporate AR goggles in some way. The AR goggles may add additional elements like characters, special items, or even damage effects to your car or your opponent's car. The Mario Kart ride is still expected to be a dark ride with physical sets and animatronics, but the AR technology could enhance your experience by adding an interactive aspect. Super Nintendo World was scheduled to open this summer at Universal Studios Japan and in Hollywood in 2021, followed by Orlando around 2023 and Singapore by 2025. However, with the parks currently closed as a precautionary measure, opening dates for these lands and attractions may be in flux. It does appear that work has continued on construction of the land in Japan despite the park being closed. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for continuing coverage of Super Nintendo World, and check out our previous video all about how the power-up bands and interactive games may work as well. If you like what we do, consider joining our Patreon for exclusive content and early releases. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there!